hi guys welcome back to my channel it's the cooking mess and i hope you are doing well so in today's video we are going to be making a carrot cake and if you know cakes or anything to do with pastry you know this is like one of the most hardest things to pull off because most times carrot cakes tend to dry out so you stick around and see what my secret ingredient is to keep a carrot cake moist so we're going to be using eggs um powdered sugar then we have crystal sugar the normal sugar we we are going to use uh, margarine some flavor we will be using vanilla so of course there's no carrot cake without carrots and we're going to be using these two carrots a pineapple let's get started so we are going to start by preparing what we will need before we get into the mixing of the butter and that is peeling the pineapple and then grating the carrots it's always good to like cut these things that we are going to add in our cake butter into smaller pieces so that they don't actually alter the consistency for example pineapples are really juicy fruits so if you put a lot or big chunks they may release the juices and your butter's consistency is is like tampered with you get a more loose thing compared to what you had you would have wanted so we use a very little piece and then cut them into these small, small pieces. And then we're going to peel the carrots before grating them. We're grating them using the smallest side of the grater. So we have close to fine strips. like that however you can do this using the bigger size and you can have those visible strips carrots don't really uh, alter the butter that much because they don't really have more juices but then I love mine when it's done to be a bit fine I don't realize I'm actually chewing a carrot inside a carrot cake so in our mixing bowl here we are going to put in 200 grams of butter at room temperature and mix it well until it's loose then you add in the sugar mix it until it's also this consistency then add in powdered sugar So we'll be using four eggs in this particular recipe and one at a time. You see when you put it in, there's a way it changes and everything looks loose. So you have to mix well if you don't have a mixer, yes, because today we are going to be making a cake with no mixer. Uh, if you don't have a mixer, you have to mix each egg well because you see how that happens and the butter looks like it's now all separate. Yeah, you gotta beat it and make it to this to look like this you add in one egg at a time so it's at that stage where we have to add in our sh our flour and we'll be using one cup of flour now when you sieve this flour there's a way uh, you get a finer texture compared to when you do not because sometimes someone will be like at the end of the day you don't even get anything out but sometimes there are those small small granules small small lumps that you get so those ones you avoid them as much as you can so we are going to mix our flour and the already existing butter and egg mixture until they are all incorporated together make sure they are smooth so that means you're gonna use a lot of energy in your arm you must be strong to beat this imagine if you're making a cake for like 10 people so and you don't have a mixer so you have to like use a lot of energy 
The whole reason why we keep on mixing, mixing is because we want a smooth butter. No lumps of sugar, no lumps of, uh, of flour, nothing. So at this stage, we add in our flavor and then mix it well also. Now it's time to put the main ingredients, which is carrots, grated carrots. We add them in. Someone else is going to say, oh, that is too much carrot. Oh, that is too little carrot. You can put according to what you want. But I, I feel like I should have a carrot in every bite of my cake. So that is why I had to use two big carrots. And this is how it's looking. So about our secret ingredient, it's, it's a pineapple. I'm sure you had figured out so the pineapple tends to keep the carrot cake moist like extra moist even after days so lastly we add in our baking powder and the reason is most times when you overbeat the baking powder it does not work that is why in cakes not mandazi or chapati or anything in cakes we overbeat the butter not over beating as in too much but then the mixing is too much imagine beating every egg beating this beating that beating the other one but you can also add it but then for me I prefer adding it at the end so that it's not overworked by the time I'm putting everything in the oven and then we are going to be using these uh, bones that make loaves in this particular shape and we are going to butter them in the sides reason it shouldn't stick in the sides when we are removing it. You can put parchment paper, maybe. You can use any shape you want. Also, preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, we put in our cake balls and let them go for at least 45 minutes. And once you check with a stick and it comes out clean, then the cake is ready so yeah of course guys we are done and this is how far we have come if you have watched up to this time i hope you're able to duplicate this recipe at home and make something as tasty as this was for your family trust me they will ask you to do this over and over again because it doesn't consume time and it's really tasty thank you so much for reaching this far with me and i hope to see you soon in my next video however if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do because we still have a long journey to go together and remember to turn on that notification bell bye guys see you soon